Welcome in and happy new year. This is the 2023 edition of how to find the right software for Megasquirt tuning. This is a question I get on my channel a lot and I wanted to discuss how to find it and what the differences are in a very basic sense just to get you guys going. So when you go to the Megasquirt products website, DIY Autotune, you can search Tuner Studio and Tuner Studio is the software that you use to tune Megasquirt products. Uh, when you click on their Tuner, Tuner Studio link here, you can find their page specifically for Tuner Studio. And this, if you go into their products, you can click on Megalog Viewer, uh, the Shadow Dash, their dashing software, cables and Bluetooth, and look at some of the basic, uh, yeah, you can look at some of their products and see kind of a basic description of what they do and some of the functions that you'll gain if you go with the different types of products. But let me lay it out in the most simple way for you that I think a lot of people that are new to this really only need to know a few things that will help them get going. So the first thing is uh, their website is kind of difficult to navigate in my opinion, but nonetheless we'll get there. So if you want to just get connected to a Megasquirt ECU and you're not interested in any advanced features, you just want to connect, maybe set the engine parameters and you can manually create a base map with ignition and fuel, you can use the free edition. So just by going to tunerstudio.com, clicking on products and Tuner Studio MS over here, Megasquirt. Uh, on the right here, you'll see download Tuner Studio MS Lite for free. So the Lite edition is the most basic. And if you plan on doing any amount of tuning beyond just some basic parameters and getting the car running, I highly suggest going and purchasing the products that are more advanced. And <clears throat> We can find those if you go to products up here over to buy now and it takes you to this page where you can see all of their software packages and combination packages that they offer here. And the ones that you're really going to be interested in looking at are Megalog Viewer HD or Megalog Viewer MS and then Tuner Studio MS. You can buy other uh, you can buy other features by getting the ultra versions, but in my experience, the standard purchased version of Tuner Studio will get you pretty much everything you're going to need. The number one biggest feature set that you get jumping to buying the Tuner Studio MS over the free version is Auto Tune, and VE Analyze Live is what they call that. And that allows you to tune the fuel map. For, uh, while you're driving and you don't have to manually go in and change all of the cells, it tunes for you based on your AFR target table. That is huge and that alone is worth the $70 that they're off, they're asking for this. Um, that you think of how much it would cost to pay a tuner to tune a fuel map for you, I mean five to six hundred dollars depending on where you go on a dyno, uh, where you can pay 70 bucks and do that on the road as long as you have a wideband um, AFR gauge. Then the other thing that's big that people ask a lot is Megalog Viewer. Now Megalog Viewer by itself is an incredibly good data analytics software. You can use it for more than just Megasquirt. You can use it for any ECU that will produce a data log, um, especially ones that can output a CSV, which is the file type for like Excel spreadsheets it's just a comma separated file and it works extremely well it's very awesome to work with and they sell that individually they sell it in a package too where you can get the megalog viewer and tuner studio uh, together and that is my suggestion of what i would do if you were if you were getting them together so uh, if you go to combinations over here you can choose like Tuner Studio MS and Megalog Viewer HD combo. This is the one that I use and highly suggest. It's, uh, yeah, about a hundred bucks. They do sales different at different times during the year. And in my opinion, if you're gonna tune any sort of Megasquirt uh, ECU, 
and especially doing it by yourself where you're going to need the auto-tune feature that's the one to get um, you can also find their cables to go from serial to usb and uh, different adapters and stuff here here's the upgrades if you already have tuner studio you can buy just the upgrades i actually ended up doing one of the upgrades at one point because i had an uh, an older version but this is really where you need to go uh, that's basically it if you're just trying to get a, an engine started and mess around just learning it you can get the free version if you're going to do any sort of additional tuning i would highly suggest just going straight for the tuner studio ms the megalog viewer allows you to tune from a data log and that is very helpful and once you learn that skill it's really nice to just go drive around make a data log you don't even have to look at a laptop just let it create a data log come back and in the comfort of your own home just sitting behind your computer you can tune your vehicle now this isn't necessary but it is really nice data logging is really important to view a lot of the different uh, things that are going on with your car, you know, maybe it's overheating, but you you're driving around and You don't you can't pay attention to exactly how hot it is and it's nice to just have a data log that you can read The issue is you can get a free version of Megalog viewer But it only lets you see a certain amount of data and it's very short So you can't read a big data log file even if you're driving around for a couple of minutes the data files the data log files get very large compared to the amount that it will let you read so Buying the actual paid version of Megalog Viewer uh, HD or MS is very, very helpful in my opinion. I have a couple videos on how to use that and I'll link them in the description below. But go take a look. I will put the link to this page in the description so it's easy to find. Uh, no shame on DIY Autotune, but it is, in my opinion, it was a little bit difficult to get to the page where you just see these nice products and the product combinations that you can buy. Uh, so thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys have good luck on your tuning projects and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.